Hello and welcome back to Team Fortress 2 with Bobson playing a bit of Vanguard this week on my demo man since I had a contract for both of them actually so I figured I'd double dip and get both contracts done at the same time so that is very nice <laughs> it's always nice when you can do that sort of thing here in Team Fortress 2 get two contracts done at the same time and just save yourself some headache trying to get them both done so, let's see. What is it I want to talk about while I am playing horribly on my demo man? Trying to get shield bash kills and like that, because I, I really do suck at shield bashing. That's one of the reasons I never use the shield on my demo man, because I can never line up the run very well and actually get a good bash on someone. So this is going to be a bit annoying to get done. Uh, especially the extra points for this contract. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. What do I want to talk about this week? Uh, I guess I should go ahead and get my channel update out of the way. Let's see. Last week was the final episode of Fallout New Vegas, and I finally finished it out. 110 episodes, my longest running series of anything I've ever done. And quite honestly, I could have probably kept going for another 50 with all the the uh, DLCs and stuff like that, but I figured it was time to finally end it, so on Monday there was the very last episode, and so for any of you who have missed it or haven't been watching it, it is over, so yeah, no more Fallout on my channel. Uh, last week on Terraria, uh, I finally figured out how to farm the pirate invasion, took a couple attempts at one of the bosses, and that was pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing this coming week on Terraria, but hopefully I'll get one of the bosses down. I'm going to try for the Destroyer, maybe the Twins, if I can get some good stuff for it. Uh, I really do want to get the Mega Shark before I take on the Twins, though, and for that I need to take on the Destroyer. Unfortunately, until I get the Nimbus Rod, I probably won't be able to do it very efficiently. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that down, get that boss down next week, and have some fun with it. Maybe set up some new stuff. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Um, hmm. Don't starve. I've got some more. Don't starve coming out. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing in it because I have tons of it recorded. So I'm not really sure what episodes are coming out when. But there should be some more Don't Starve this coming week, uh, tomorrow, Sunday, so and on Wednesday, more Don't Starve. And as a replacement for Fallout New Vegas in my lineup, and uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, I have started doing Banished. And Banished is a medieval-type Sim City, city management, village management kind of game where you take control of these, this little village and you have to build houses, build farms, build all the kinds of stuff. Kind of like a SimCity type thing. And you have to keep everyone alive, keep the city growing and love stuff like that. And I decided to record some of it. I already have some of it recorded. First episode should have come out Friday, which was yesterday. Uh, I am recording this on Thursday, so uh, hopefully it come, came out yesterday. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's a fun game. I picked it up. Well, I didn't really pick it up. I was gifted it over Christmas, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I really do love this type of game where you're basically managing a city or managing a little town or something like that. Those types of sim games. Uh, I've always loved those. Going all the way back to the very first Sim City. I, 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 to be honest, it wasn't the original SimCity that was on a PC, it was, the, it was the version that was on the Super Nintendo, like, 25 years ago. That was the very first type of game like this I ever played, and it was very simplistic by today's standards. It, all the core stuff was in it, uh, the residential, uh, commercial, industrial, uh, zones and stuff like that, but it was very basic, very simple, but it was a lot of fun, and I played the hell out of that game. I loved that game. Played it for years, and 
yeah, I would just build these huge cities, massive, half a million people cities in that game, and that was a real difficult thing to do back <laughs> with that kind of game, because it was very simplistic. Uh, it didn't really have a lot to it, to be honest. I mean, you had the the basic stuff, like the residential, industrial, and stuff like that, but they were basically just these square blocks you placed down, and stuff would grow into it. Nine by nine little squares where one building would pop up, and it wasn't very complex, but it was a lot of fun, and I've always loved that kind of game. The sim games, the, the uh, management type games, but I never really did anything like that for my channel. So I figured it was about time to do something like that. And I... Going back to that, it, I have always loved that kind of game. Stuff like that. And another game I really loved way back when was uh, Sim Theme Park. It was... A, that kind of game is also one of the ones I loved. It was on PlayStation or PlayStation 2. I don't remember. I think I had a version for both PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Because it's basically the same game, just uh, different systems. So yeah, I love that game. I love building massive theme parks with huge uh, shifting roller coasters. And roller coaster tycoon, tycoon was also another one. But Sim Theme Park was the first one like that I ever played, and it was on this uh, Super Nintendo, uh, not Super Nintendo, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2. I don't remember. But yeah, I used to build like massive theme parks. I'd fill out the entire area with attractions, and rides, and massive roller coasters that would just go up and down and all around. It'd be crazy. And I love doing that. I also love building tourist traps. And by tourist traps, I mean literal tourist traps. Basically, I would design the park in a way that would allow people to enter it, enter the rides, and when they exited the rides, the exit point would be blocked off. It would basically be a horseshoe-shaped area with all the rides having a central location where their entrances are, right where the entrance to the park was, but all the exits would be in the back, and no one could leave the park. They would just be trapped there forever. People would enter the park, ride on the rides, leave and then just be trapped forever and I found that hilarious especially once once everything started filling up with like really green gas kind of stuff where it indicated they had thrown up or used the bathroom because I didn't put any bathrooms I didn't put any trash cans <laughs> it was just a horrible nightmare but I found it amusing oh I don't know why very sadistic I guess <laughs> It's actually kind of mean to be thinking, actually. But yeah, it was uh, just odd little things like that I used to do in those games. Uh, just like in The Sims. Uh, the Sims, that's another one. I used to play The Sims on PlayStation 2, I think it was. Was it PlayStation 2 that The Sims came out on? I think it was. Let me. Yeah, it's PlayStation 2. I have it on a shelf behind me right now. And yeah, roller coaster, roller coaster tycoon, roller coaster sim, roller coaster tycoon thing. That's what it was on PlayStation 2. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, but yeah, I used to play The Sims as well, the first Sims on uh, PlayStation 2. And <laughs> as much fun as that game was, I just have not been able to get into any of the newer Sim games. I mean, I have what was it, Sim 3? That's on uh, Steam right now. I actually bought it, played it for a bit, but it just wasn't. Yeah, it just wasn't for me. I don't know. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the way it was and the massive amounts of DLCs that came out around it. I mean, there's just so many DLCs that came around with the newer Sims stuff that I, I, people were have, have actually complained about this because. Some of the newer sim games like that, the DLCs are content that was in the original game. Stuff that came with the original game that they're selling uh, separate as DLCs. And 
That's kind of annoying. I hate it when that kind of thing happens, where they take core content of game and just part it out as DLC, just to make a few extra bucks. And that's sad, because I did like The Sims. I did like playing The Sims. I liked having my little guy running around. I liked building my own house. I would just take a vacant lot and just build, my, custom build my own house. All the way around, taking tons of time, placing the walls, placing the wallpaper and the floors and everything, the decorations, and I would finance the whole thing by making gnomes, just garden gnomes, in the backyard as my job. I didn't even have a job, I just built garden gnomes and sold them off. <laughs> and I love that. I love the fact that you could do that. Ugh. But yeah, I, I have always loved that kind of game where it's just you controlling a little town or a theme park or stuff like The Sims. And that's probably one of the reasons I love playing like uh, Minecraft, which is an open world sandboxy type thing where you can just build and go off and do whatever you want. And it's not really the same thing, but it's similar. It's that freedom to just build and do what you want, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't really been playing a lot of the uh, sim games or the town management games or anything like that. I've, I've looked at uh, City Skylines, and that looks like it could be fun, but I don't know. I just haven't really been into the whole city builders recently and I, a friend of mine knew I liked those kind of games and that's why he got me banished and oh, when I got it I started playing it played it for hours like 30 hours in the first few days <laughs> of the first week or so so I played a lot of it and it, it is a lot of fun I love the game it's a lot of fun uh, it was an indie game and it did come out a while back a couple of years ago I think it was 2014 but, yeah, I, I did enjoy it, and I enjoyed it enough that I, I decided to do a Let's Play, well, not really a Let's Play, just a playthrough of it on my channel, so hopefully you guys like City Builders as much as I do. If not, then, well, I'm sorry, but it's going to be there for a couple weeks at least, or until the city burns down and everyone dies and starves to death, because that's the kind of thing that happens in Banished. Everyone can just die from starvation because if you're not on top of your game if you're not on top of every single detail everyone can die and the city just dies with it Ugh. and that's not good that is not good at all <laughs> so yeah uh, so yeah uh, banished I like it it's a lot of fun and again city skylines and the new sim city game I I don't really know much about the new sim city game I've only really been looking at uh, City Skylines, but it looks like a lot of fun, like a game I would really like to play. Unfortunately, I don't think I'd be able to run it on my PC. Uh, I just from the the details of it, the intensity, I don't think I'd actually be able to run it, which is one of the problems I'm still having. I still need to get a new PC. I still need to get a new uh, computer because. Mine is a bit old. It's I got it in 2009, and even then it wasn't really top of the line. I, I know I've mentioned this before, so <laughs> I'm not even going to go into that very much. But yeah, I still need to get a new one before I can really consider playing any of the newer, more intensive games, system-intensive games like that. Uh, and I, I would love to play City Skylines and actually do some videos on it, maybe. But yeah, that's uh, that's something I'd have to wait till later on. Huh. Huh. So uh, let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I don't know. I've just been sitting here talking about uh, Sim Cities and uh, making Death Trap theme parks for the past 15 minutes. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, how long have I been going? Actually, 15 or so minutes. Yeah, that's about long enough. I think, for this week's episode. I didn't really say much, I didn't really do much, aside from die continuously on my demo man and 
horribly, horribly play. But yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mentioned everything new on my channel. There's nothing else really new going on with me, so I think that's enough for this week. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been more Team Fortress 2. And this has been Sim Chat and, more importantly, Banished Chat. So if you like City Builders, go check it out. It should be on my channel. So yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.